In this video, we're going to be checking out the Witch Finder by Dunwich Amplification, and we're starting right now. What's up, guys? Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your type of thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So the Witchfinder here is a highly modified version of the Boss FC2 Hyperfuzz. Compared to the original, the three-way mode switch has been removed along with the boost mode, and Fuzz 1 and Fuzz 2 have been simplified where instead of a fixed mid-cut switch, there is now an active mid-range control along with a three-way center frequency toggle switch. So the treble and bass or high and low range controls of the original circuit are retained, both are indeed active, so you can cut or boost the frequencies across these particular ranges. And as I mentioned, this mid-range control has been added, which is also active. You've got the level control here to control the overall output of the pedal. The mid-range toggle here changes the frequency range over which the mids knob operates. So when in this full left position, this mids control is going to operate on the lower mids. When in the center position, the mids control is going to operate kind of in the mids mids. And then when furthest to the right, the mids control is going to operate over the upper mids. The mode switch here in the center adjusts the texture of the clipping. You can go from a more glitchy octave bass clipping to a smoother, more modern fuzz sounding clipping. And finally, we have a clipping diode switch here that lets you go from symmetrical silicon diodes to no clipping diodes to red LEDs. The original Hyperfuzz circuit used symmetrical clipping diodes, so in this furthest left position. And if you want to set the circuit to be as was in the original Hyperfuzz, you would set them as follows. So silicon clipping, uh, texture sl switch to the right, and the mids switch to the left with the mids control run all the way down. The fuzz itself is toggled via this master switch and then the octave up effect, which is inherent to all super fuzz and hyper fuzz circuits, is toggled via this octave switch on the right. Then you've got a clean blend here that sets the ratio of affected to dry signal on the output of the circuit, along with an octave mix control that sets the amount of octave mixed into the main signal during octave mode. And then finally, we've got this boost knob here that sets a gain boost level when in non-octave mode, so when this is switched off, and of course, the fuzz control. So this is actually the fourth revision of the pedal. Nick did three others leading up to this, which is going to be the final version as far as what he said. Uh, the artwork, obviously very reminiscent of the Come My Fanatics album by Electric Wizard, all screen printed. Pedal is true bypass when switched off. I'm going to be using riffs from Venom Sabathi off of Dope Throne. My guitar is tuned to B-flat standard. And if you want to catch a lesson for that song, you can find it on the channel.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo. If you did, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and if you do have a friend who might enjoy the video, don't forget to share it. For more information on the Witchfinder and Dunwich amplification, I'll have links to both down in the description. And for more of my content, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at Does It Doom. So until next time, always remember Tony Iomi is your friend.